Ladies and gentlemen, dear Alex, I'm honored to provide you with a short but intense lightning talk today. My talk is rooted in a shared understanding, one that Commissioner White embodies and promotes, and which guides his work, that is the concept of ethics as our true north. For several years now, I have worked to develop the world's first systematic and auditable framework for ethical and socially responsible data processing, the Masuk University Data Protection as a Corporate Social Responsibility Framework. But why is that necessary, you may ask, when the GDPR is known as the world's most complete data protection legislation? Why don't we push for better enforcement and overhaul of the law? Make DPAs more accountable. The truth is, the law alone is not enough. The time has come for us to acknowledge that regulation itself, and more generally, mere legal compliance, cannot sufficiently protect the fundamental rights and freedoms that we uphold, especially in the European Union. The law is not enough to adequately mitigate the risks presented by new technologies and the economic models that tend to degrade the democratic systems in the exploitation of data. There is instead a need for an approach to data protection that can be considered ethical, exposing value-based models in the development of a newly virtuous form of social responsibility that goes beyond what is prescribed by the data protection law. This concept has been confirmed by the European Data Protection Supervisor, the European Commission, and the Council of Europe, among others. It has also been recognized by the DPAs across the world that have supported the UM DPCR framework. The regulatory gap left by data protection legislation can be filled, and the black boxes that drive the digital economy brought to light by fostering a socially responsible business culture around the use of data. Such an approach incentivizes effective respect for fundamental rights and freedoms of individuals on the part of companies, and it is coherent, cohesive, and complementary to the new and forthcoming data and cybersecurity related legislation, which aim at protecting and sharing data in full respect to the fundamental rights and freedoms that typically characterize a democratic society. We are triggering a virtuous competition on data protection between companies by fostering an environment that identifies and promotes data protection and data security as an asset. In turn, this asset can be used to help companies to further their economic targets in a sustainable way. To this end, the Massive University Data Protection as a Corporate Social Responsibility Framework, the so-called UMDPCSR Framework, advances initiatives for lawful, ethical, transparent, fair, and secure data processing to the advantage of both users and organizations. This new dimension or perspective of data protection goes beyond legal compliance, embodying ethics as its true north. It fundamentally transforms data protection into a new form of corporate social responsibility and brings with it implications for the wider ESG movement. In this way, data protection as a corporate social responsibility serves both the public and the organization that abides by internationally relevant principles that foster increased trust. On the 6th of September, just a week ago, nearly 40 individuals, representative of large organizations, supervisory authorities, and intergovernmental organizations, gathered in Maastricht at the Chateau Nercan, where the Maastricht Treaty was signed, to sign the Digital Pact for Privacy and Cybersecurity as Social Responsibilities, confirming their agreement with the concept that privacy and cybersecurity are indeed to be regarded as socially responsibilities, as opposed to mere compliance obligations. The pact recognizes that privacy and cybersecurity are essential components of a healthy and respectful digital society and economy, and that in our digital world, characterized by the deployment of artificial intelligence, 
Compliance with the law is not enough to generally safeguard the fundamental rights and freedoms of individuals. For this reason, organization processing personal data must commit to do good with data or at the very least to not harm individuals as a result of processing their data. And with that, let us all go north. Thank you very much for your time and attention.